to 3%. John, how realistic is that? Ooh, I don't think very realistic. Um, cause I think we're looking at something south of 2%. Mm -hmm. And certainly the subprime, uh, the effects of the subprime crisis in the United States are being felt here, obviously. And uh, so it would surprise me if growth were anything sort of more than maybe 1.8, 1.9% 1 next year. So what does That's it ultimately mean for France if they put out a budget with overly optimistic figures, the deficit's only going to increase? Yeah, well, um, you know, that's kind of par for the course here. The, uh <laughs> okay, I also want to bring yeah, up another... Th 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 these numbers, these GDP numbers, of course, are net of inflation. Mm -hmm. And inflation numbers are routinely misstated. Uh, right. around around the world. The U.S., if you want to use the true inflation of 8%, is in recession now and dropping like a stone. So 1.2% versus a negative uh, growth in the U.S. might look pretty good in 12 months' time. And I think that's what the euro is telling us. Mm -hmm. People are saying, you know what, this euro is not too bad. They actually have real growth as opposed to deficit finance fake growth with fake inflation numbers with that fake Fed chairman, Ben Bernanke. Easy. And this is a better... <laughs> This is a better currency. There's oh. a lot of strength in the currency. What's that telling us? Uh, because they're heading into slow growth? And why is everybody else dealing with the currency? Yes. I mean, uh, Germany's uh, economy has uh, turned uh, around based, uh, despite a strong euro. Go ahead, Alain. Yes, okay. Yes, okay. Well, I think in value, uh, in price, Germany can compete. The problem is there's the real demand on the world market. And here there is a real problem of setting bankruptcy, which is the United States. I think the bankruptcy of a poor... Uh, uh, households is going to to spread up to the uh, to the wool uh, U.S. market, and uh, this will be expressed in the fall down of uh, the dollar by comparison to euro, and that will reduce the capacity of Europe to export. So I do not believe any way of uh, any recovery of a French budget through a French expansion through exports. This is absolutely impossible for the year 2008. Alain, I want to ask you a question uh, on the budget because of these, um, what you all seem to agree, are very optimistic uh, forecasts for growth. The European Commission for this year forecasts only 1.8% growth, and the French government still saying in September now that it expects a number between 2 and 2.5%. Where are these differences in forecasts coming from? Well, I think it's pure bullshit. In fact... France now has experienced half a point of growth for nearly one year than the rest of Europe. If the rest of Europe is expecting to slow down to under 2%, this means obviously that France is going to slow down to under 1.5%, something like that. And the crisis due to the bankruptcy in the United States uh, is obviously inducing all the world to a reduction of the world market. And I, I can't see how France, which is not very competitive by comparison to Germany, as you say, uh, could, uh, could do anything else than receive this data, which is reduction of the world expansion. Okay, can anyone say where they're coming up with these growth numbers to base their budget on? Well, the French government traditionally veers on the optimistic side when it comes up with their uh, you know, um, uh, growth projections and their growth forecasts. Um, so it's not anything really different from in the past. But still, now that the Eurozone is, one, I mean, since 2000, with the currency and everything, does France need to stop this and just become a more responsible player, more realistic in its forecasts, because they are one member of a large team? Well, what's the biggest drain? Subsidies, basically? This is the drain, right? Subsidies to farmers. Yes. And the Corsican well, farmers are upset, and they're going to war, with, as they have been, and the subsidies are the problem. And uh, it's, it's a drag on the economy. Uh, it's an economy in a country with low uh, inequality and low poverty rates. And um, uh, so what? Uh, so, so, so what? Uh, so, w w as compared to what, the U.S.? Is that the model to chase? Well, no, I well, don't I mean, think you should talk about the U.S. You talk right, about I'm Germany, about for example. I'm talking about the rest of the and Eurozone. I, yeah. I mean, it's, is it fair for France to be this optimistic and, and balloon its deficit while everyone else is trying to play this game responsibly? Especially Germany. I mean, Especially I think that's Germany. one of the I mean, the if key Germany was the here. sick man of Europe yeah. 2002 yeah. and now has, you know, through very responsible financing, turned its fortunes around, why can't France do the same thing? Because what it thinks but it what, what do you 
What do you speak of being uh, optimistic? Uh, to say that the state is in bankruptcy is not a very optimistic thing. Fillon says that, but I we're looking at a budget proposal yes, next week that. that's I going to say realistic. we're expecting between 2 and 2.5 percent yes. growth. That's optimistic. This is Sarkozy. <laughs> this is not that's, Okay, but Sarkozy is in charge in the end. And there are rumors yes. also that Fillon might be out by January. Rumors, I stress. Exactly so. Exactly right. so. I think the divers, the divers are growing and growing. Fillon uh, thinks that uh, Sarkozy is living a kind of dream and uh, is trying to, to separate progressively from him. But uh, I think it is very courageous from him to have said what he has said. Uh, I think he is exaggerating, but it's, it's, his exaggeration has something uh, very rhetoric, something, uh, it's a kind of, uh, uh, of warning to Sarkozy, please stop, he's saying. Go ahead, Jean. I know you had a comment. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> no, again, I, I just think the choice of words is unfortunate, especially unfortunate at a time when markets all over the world are tense. And so you just don't go throwing around words like bankruptcy or failure or things like that. I mean, I think you have to kind of restrain your language somewhat. Okay. You know what, uh, Alain, let me ask you a question. Yes, in French, we say, il brûle ses vaisseaux, uh, he's burning his uh, boats. Well, I mean, let, he cannot come on, back. Uh, on the German comparison, to what extent uh, Germany and, and Deutsche Bank is a huge player in, in the global finance markets, so the extent that they've been able to, to engineer cheap access to credit over the last 10 or 15 years when they're uh, consolidation of Eastern Germany, et cetera. So this is uh, probably has somewhat to do. In the States, you know, 35, 40 percent of, uh, of the earnings are coming from financial uh, institutions and transactionalism. So Germany, I would imagine, has some of that too. So as we're talking about a rising interest rate environment, uh, you know, Germany could, fa and, and, and Deutsche Bank and these other large banks, could be in a position where maybe their growth numbers are uh, overstated, uh, certain assumptions in terms of their ability to engineer, uh, as was mentioned by the, uh, the, can the Korean candidate. Uh, uh, policies that are not necessarily uh, endemic to the... Uh, but at least when it comes economy. to public finances, uh, Germany has certainly been doing a much better job than France. Right. And so I think, you know, <laughs> it's... Fairly. They, they resent it somewhat that the, yeah. the French may not be doing also some heavy lifting. And, and let's make clear the extent to which Germany is wrapped up in the, in the subprime lending mess. This isn't because of Germany's domestic behavior. Germany doesn't engage in, in subprime lending. Believe me, it's very hard to get a loan in Germany. But Deutsche Bank did buy the subprime lending debt off the United States. Right. It, was, it was the major German bank that was involved in arguable arguably. But I wanted to bring over uh, another. We only have a few minutes left. Alon, let me ask you about this. Uh, Trichet, Jean-Claude Trichet, um, uh, ECB bank president, has, uh, you know, somewhat approved, at least, uh, Sarkozy's plans to cut spending via reducing the civil servants and uh, by cutting special retirement benefits, uh, just as we saw last week with France's train conductors. Need that be, those reforms, at least in your opinion, be pushed through at any cost? At least Trichet and Sarkozy see eye to eye on that I, one. I, I think that Trichet thinks, like uh, Fillon, that is, when you want to reduce public debt, you first cut in the expenditures. And uh, Trichet uh, was right, I think. There are some sectors of uh, economies that you can do in, uh, in French expenditures. Uh, the critique of Trichet is that Sarkozy started by cutting on tax, like Reagan did some uh, 20 years ago. And I think because he do, they don't know how ago. hard it's going to be to push through these reforms. I mean, it's on the plans, it's in the plans, but we know how French unions can uh, but, uh, hold up the you, process. You, 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 were, you, you were comparing with Germany. In fact, some years ago, that is, uh, three years ago at the time of a reform of a stability plan, France and Germany were exactly at the same digits same deficits of a current budget and same stock of public debt by comparison to GDP. Well, the, the, the answer of the Germans was increase the tax. That was the answer of uh, Gerhardt. Uh, and uh, I think they were right. Okay. You, you cannot give money uh, when you are in such difficulty. Okay. Uh, we only can, have about 30 can, seconds left. I just reform. want to get okay. quick final, final comments then from uh, John. Quick final words, if you're interested. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, big thanks to the subprime uh, crisis is going to be t much tougher than expected here. And I okay. think that's the wild card that maybe Sarkozy wasn't expecting. Okay, Max? 
There are those new bicycles. I like those. <laughs> France is doing well. Yeah. Okay, we'll yeah, keep those are good. it there. Okay. <laughs> it's good stuff. All right.